Now in this video I'm going to show you how to make presets for Divisimit based upon orchestral scores. I have chosen five different scores ranging from quite simple to more advanced orchestration. Now in the last video I showcased some of the presets made by the manufacturer and some presets I made myself. In the end I did a little sketching session where I used some of the presets as a guide for the composing. And I will do the same today, but first let's go into how to make presets from the very beginning. So the first thing we need to make a preset is a piece of music that you like and you're inspired by and maybe find a certain passage from that piece that you really want to dig into and see how they made. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to play through each of these tracks and these small passages while following along in the scores on the right side of the screen. And then I will transfer these settings into Divisimate. So the first piece we're going to listen to is by a composer called Benny Oshman and the piece is called Short Flight in a Big Balloon. Now this section that I've chosen is quite short and you will see the notes of the melody and the harmony outlined here on the right side of the screen. So I'm going to play through and I'm going to follow along using my cursor for the melody. So that was the device that I want to copy. First thing we do is find the melody voices. The melody voices are flutes, oboes, and glockenspiel. And if you can remember from the first video, the yellow line outlines the melody voices. So here you can see I've chosen glockenspiel, oboe, and two flutes. It actually says in the description piccolo and flute one. So that's what I've chosen. And also there are two oboes playing, but because of the sound of my samples, I've chosen to only let one oboe play this time. So now I'm going to play the melody voices using my breath controller. Moving on to the harmonic material, the chords. Now the chords are being played by clarinets 1 and 2, bassoon 1 and 2, horn fading out, so I'm not going to include that. But also there is violins 1, violins 2, and violas playing tremolo, and also there are contrabasses using pizzicato and later also uh, celli using pizzicato. There are some faster notes played by clarinets and violins 1 and violins 2. So to be able to match this I've chosen the um, repeater plugin and I set it to triplets, like it says in the scores, and adjusted the speed accordingly. So now I'm going to play some block chords using the lower line instruments. And they provide the harmony in this section. So to fill out my tried chord, I have routed the instruments that provides the uh, harmonic material in this section uh, to various notes in the triad. You can see that violins 1 go to the second highest note, while viol violins 2 goes to the highest, and the trems in the violas go to the lowest. And this is also a setting I've chosen in bassoons and clarinets. Now, it's important to remember, however, that these presets are made to be used real-time and to inspire you to create new music. They are not meant to be identical recreations of the original piece. So if I want to do a mock-up, for example, I would probably not use this. So when I create presets like this, quite often I hear something else in my mind that I want to add. So actually I made a, a variation of this preset, uh, and I have included the cello uh, in the melody line outlined in yellow here. And it, this, will, uh, this will provide a, a little bit of a different color to the original palette. So listen to this. So the next piece is by Robin Hoffman and it's called Gazing at the Night Sky. 
and the device I've chosen from this piece is just almost the three last bars of the piece. There is a chord that is very mysterious and gentle in quality. So let's have a listen to it and then we'll recreate it. So as always, I want to start out by looking at where is the melodic material. And in this little device, it's not so much a melody, but it's more like a gentle movement in the upper register of the woodwinds. So you can see here that flute 1 and flute 2 and 3, together with the clarinets, are doing a, like a gentle rhythmic pattern. And all the rest of the instruments, lower woodwinds, lower brass, and then a glock harp, celeste, timpani and bass drum together with the string sections are doing a gentle background chord. So to match the interval between the notes here I used the uh, transposer plugin and I set the root key to the same as the original and I assigned the interval using the spacer here. So to play the melodic material by itself it sounds like this. So again, the blue lines outline the, the notes that make up the harmonic material, the chords. And instead of using three keys, three notes to make a tried chord, I've decided to only use uh, one note this time, but then also using the transposer to split up the uh, voicing appropriately. So you can see that I've chosen the low uh, woodwinds, bassoon 1 and 2, contrabassoon. Further down we have trombone 1 and 2, bass trombone and tuba. Well, you find them here. And then we have the glock here, timpani. I have not included the harp, but I can add that later. But at the lowest part are the string section also using the transposer. So the sound of the harmonic section, the chords, is like this. And together they sound like this. So next up is no other than John Williams and his famous Superman march. And I'll use my cursor to show you the melody line while you listen and then we go through the process of creating the preset. So again, where is the melodic material in this piece? Well, it's played by trumpets and trombones. We can see the melody outline here. And also you can see the melody outlined by the yellow color and these instruments. Trumpet 1, trumpet 2, and trombone 1 and 2, transposed down by an octave. Uh, there are actually more instruments than the original, but just by the nature of my samples, this worked out fine. So the rest of the material is based upon this one note that I've chosen and routed it out to all of the instruments providing the harmonic material. And if we start at the top we can see that it starts with bass clarinet here at number 9 and then bassoon 1 and 2. Then we see the horn 1, 2, 3, 4 and instead of splitting the horns here I've used a horns A4 patch in my contact instance uh, just to make it a more simpler. Next up is tuba playing down here and then we have timpani and we have some percussion that I have to add later. And the rest is the string section also playing the same staccato rhythm pattern. So by itself the melodic material sounds like this.
So the harmonic material is played by using only this single note in the visimate, and it's routed, as I've said, to all the other instruments, including the timpani. So again, this kind of sound instantly makes me hear other things in my head. For example, I would like to include more trombones in the harmonic material to make it more gritty and, and more intense. Next piece is Edvard Grieg, Per Gint, and it's uh, the famous Sweet Morning Mood. And this section is just a tutti section where the whole string section plays in unison the melody line, and then there is a, a great harmony of uh, woodwinds and brass in the background. So follow along on the right side, I will outline the notes using my cursor, and then we will make the preset from scratch. So yet again, where is the melody line? Well, the melody line is in all of the string sections except for the contrabasses, and they're playing in unison. So you can see the setup here, just using these transposer plugins to, to split up the voicing accordingly. So by itself, the melodic material sounds like this. So in this preset I've chosen to spread out the harmony using three notes again and you can see I've routed them appropriately from the top to the bottom of the uh, woodwinds and the beginning of the brass section here. So if we follow the scores we can see flute 1 and 2, oboe 1 and 2, clarinet 1 and 2 and bassoon 1 and 2. Also there are horns, four horns. I have omitted them in this preset just because the sound without them is nicer to my ears using these exact uh, samples. So by itself the harmonic material sounds like this. So together using both the melodic and the harmonic material we can play of course a theme or we could just play around and see what happens. So this last example is taken from Howard Shore uh, in his score for The Hobbit. The track is called Axe or Sword. So follow along on the scores on the right side while I play through and then we will recreate it from scratch. So once again we ask where is the melody? And it might be a little bit tricky to see it in the beginning, but the melody is actually played by clarinet 1 here, and then by the horns in unison. So if you see the last preset, you can see that's exactly what I've chosen. Clarinet 1 and horns 1. So this is actually the horns A4 unison patch uh, in contact. So the rest of the material on the score is for the harmonic section and it's strings, everything except violins 1, and then there are trombones 1, 2 and 3, and then there are clarinets 2, bass clarinet and bassoon. So also for this preset I've chosen to split the chord out in simple triads. So by itself the melodic material sounds like this.
Now the voicing for the harmonic material was a little bit tricky. I'm not a very good uh, score reader, so I had to fiddle around a little bit with uh, these uh, transposer settings to get it to sound right. Uh, especially for the double basses here, not playing the lowest part, but actually playing the, the highest part, uh, or actually the highest note of the chord, just transposed down. So by itself, the harmonic material sounds like this. Mm -hmm. 